Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm going to do a really quick embellishment video using um, the Christmas Pages and Ephemera kit from Dear Julie Julie Etsy Shop. I have taken the seven pages and um, or the seven files and printed them at wallet size and so I have them here already ready to use so um, yeah so this is like the background there's a quilt there's a page with these um, it's it's a fun little kit and it will um, supplement well all of the items are from my collection so this is vintage um, uh, it's a table scarf, antique music, a collage that I made. This is a postcard, an antique postcard. This is the quilt that I made with my grandma when I was like five. And this is the inside cover of one of my, mu my antique music books. So let's go ahead and get started. I also have this um, page of bingo cut-aparts. And I thought they would be fun to use as well. And so, you know what, let's go ahead and... <laughs> the new cutter is in the kitchen. But, so at the same time, I'm going to show you a way to use up one of these will begin to use up one of these pages of cut aparts. Of course, I'd go in and I would cut all these bingo cards out as one of the things. Then I do have, I'm going to be working on a Christmas um, journal. And so I have the McCalls from Cherished Children. That one is ready with the snowbells. That's from the Cherished Children. And then I have this that um, this is the, the scarf. The Christmas chimes is the music from the Christmas one. And then there's the basket. So I just, I had printed out these to use in a journal. So that's the Christmas pages in ephemera. And then this is from the McCall's, um, or from Cherished Children, actually. So, um, I just, like, what size should I, should I go with? <laughs> Boy, I just can't win in here. I can't get in my office and I sneeze. Okay, we're just going to make a two bingo pocket. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners. Okay, put you up there. Okay, so I do have cut from the ephemera. I have, now these of course can just become ephemera, but um, for this this one, I didn't want to do it that way. Um, I might do it. So I have the blank tickets. I think we'll do it this way. And then I do like to add some lace. I happen to have this here. Oh, you know what? That's for <laughs> that's for something else. We'll come over here and get this scrap. It really is a scrap piece. Okay. And that's, I think, is what we're going to use. Okay. I am going to use my Tombow glue. I'm just going to go ahead and put down the lace. Put down the ticket. Now, of course, if you wanted to make this a 
pocket a pocket spot you could do that um, I am not going to make this a pocket spot this time okay so I don't want to go down any further than the pocket okay so very very simply we've added that now um, could come in and add a stamp or some washi that says like Merry Christmas or something here um, on top of this right here I have my favorite the bling So kind of like a, a recipe could be something for the background, such as cheesecloth, lace, tulle, something like that. Um, then a ticket and then a small um, receipt or, or something of that nature. So I have this and this can... Um, go ahead and I did not distress it and I have not coffee dyed any of those this is the natural color of the um, of the note paper so uh, from from its natural aging so there we have a pocket that we've made now this could just be a journaling card and um, I say just but possibly we might want a, um, a tab on it. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this ticket. It doesn't want to fold straight, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the inside of it. And just from the back... So behind it, I'm going to staple it, and I'm going to use two staples, maybe. See, that's... <laughs> so today, we won't be stapling it. We'll glue it. it. It's okay. It works. <laughs> okay, so you can use a ticket as a pull tab. So that this, because this might be the right size to go, um, like, under a, a postcard. If you had a postcard as a pocket, then this could be a, um, could come out of the pocket. So just very simply, I'm going to add some bling here. Okay. So very, very simple. Um, you can journal on the back of this card. You can journal on the front. We can add a word here once we have some Christmas words. Um, and so that gives us that. So next I have, this came from the uh, cards. And this one is... Um, Full size. It's part of the page, Christmas pages and ephemera kit in Dear Julie Julie. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold it over. And fold it up. It will make kind of like a little envelope. Okay. You'll want to use your bone folder as well. Okay. So it'll be a tuck up or flip up, flip down. When we put it in the book, we can glue it along in a U and it'll become a pocket. But yet we'll still have a place to put things. And um, so to decorate this, I have this uh, ribbon. And we're going to have to cut it. And I'm going to cut it 
kind of rounded because it really wants to be in the middle or inside the M and inside the S. So I'm going to go around it like that. It'll stick out on either side, but I'm okay with that. And we'll just go ahead and add some glue here. So how many of you are working on your December dailies, getting them, getting some things ready? These would be great for December daily. Again, I printed uh, the files out on, um, at wallet size. These are JPEGs in my, um, in my shop so you can you can do that you can print them out and I was like should I put that there okay again when once we get some Christmas words we can put some Christmas words here um, we might be might put the flinch card that will have the um, date and I've, I gave out all the flinch cards in my in happy mail. <laughs> okay, so very, very simple. And of course we can come back and add to this. And I'm that's how I do the beginning of um, some of my uh, <laughs> what are these called? Um, embellishments when I'm doing when I'm like when I'm doing December daily for instance I will get things that are started and ready um, ahead of time but they won't be totally finished because I don't know with the um, with the feel of my um, journal will be Sorry, I'm like at a loss for words here today. Okay, just making us a, a pull tab for this one using the bingo card. Okay, 19 0. Isn't that something? So this actually can be used as a journaling card. So I think we'll we'll leave that like that. Um, just because I want to use up everything that is here. I'm going to come over and add this. This is the little piece that was left from the, the ribbon. And if I go ahead and push it together and cut it like that, I get like kind of like a banner. Kind of like a banner look. There we go. And um, keeping with the theme, I'm going to add some bling. Now, because this is for a December daily, it's kind of, I do it more like um, a photo album kind of scrapbook, but I'm using the junk journal. theory or philosophy or whatever um, of using items that you would use in a junk journal but knowing that this is going to actually be a, a memory book um, in my case anyway so I do have some of the hearts that I've cut from my Cricut and I am okay so we have the, the granny quilt the background we have the collage didn't that turn out cool I really like it and then the Christmas chimes so we have the bank of happiness here And let's see. I 
there's just a little piece of lace here. Now I know on this, um, when I use this Tombow mono liquid glue that I have to um, come back a couple times and remind it that it needs to stay down. But other than that, I really like this glue. Normally for a video, I'm, I'm gonna use the fabric tack, but I am running very, very, very low. So very, very simple, and the hearts can be used for a, like a tuck spot um, and a variety of things. So I have that. Here we have our Christmas chimes, and I have this box from the playing cards. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut loosely around the card here. We have Santa and a sleigh. And that's what I'm going to keep out of this. It's the Santa and the sleigh. Maybe just Santa. I'm gonna, I'll come back and read this. Yeah, I think I'll just keep Santa. So these cards I picked up at um, Dollar General. Uh, I don't know if these are this year's cards or last year's cards. I've gotten a couple already this year. That was the box. So there, just I'm just gonna go ahead and he's gonna. I'm not gonna make him a tuck or anything. He's just gonna get glued on here. So there we go, and keeping with the theme, uh, dot, 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 that is my theme, dot, dot, dot is the and then some, more, etc., better than you expected. That's what I wish for you. There we have that, and I am going to throw these parts away. I don't think I need the playing cards, <laughs> um, but I can use this piece here. I do... Um, I do use my packaging in junk journals and in my, especially in junk journals, but in my crafting. So I've got this awesome punch from Paper Shapers. <laughs> and I can throw that away. So now I have this that we can use as a tuck or... Um, actually, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to add some bling to it. Because, oh, look at, duh. Can't believe I did. Yeah, I can. Okay, so if we add some bling, and maybe... I have some of these tickets. Now, I don't need to advertise where these came from. Um, these actually came from a drawing that I was at. These were the tickets that were 
were left over after they did the drawing. Okay, so I think we'll just go ahead and glue this on. And what this can be is when I do a belly band, um, I like to have something down at the bottom of the page that will the the item can sit under. So there we go. Okay, so we have a little tuck for down at the bottom of, say this went in a belly band, then this can hold it down at the bottom. So there's that. Um, so I think that is a, a good start for today. I hope you enjoyed working with the pages in ephemera from Dear Julie Julie. We have a postcard card journaling card ready. I may come back and round these corners. I'm not sure. Um, you also probably noticed I have not um, distressed them because I'm not sure where um, I haven't picked out all my items for decorating my my personal um, journal. So um, I haven't decided if I will be distressing yet. So we have the the music card, very, very simple, the fussy cut Santa and this. We have one of the hearts that I cut with my Cricut and with the ha Bank of Happiness card and um, on a heart. We have the flip up, flip down, very simple, just added some um, ribbon here and I may come back and add some lace and some other stuff after I see what the vibe is going to be once I pick out my items because what I'll do is I'll go through last year's Christmas cards and I may use some of those in this and um, so so very very simply we took the wallet size of the scarf and, or yeah table scarf and um, just added a ticket and some bling for a pull tab and this one is kind of fun because it can go this way or this way you can use either orientation we have the little tuck and then we have this that can be a pocket or possibly for a smaller page or even like an envelope um i don't have one right here or a guest check this could be um a belly band or it can be a pocket, but it is ready. So I hope you enjoyed this embellishment video. I hope you have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day. Which one was your favorite? And are you working on your December daily? I'd like to know that. And what would you like to see more of? Find something? Oh, I already did that part. But do it anyway. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.